Okay, this morning we're walking with Drake and Fifi, but this video is about Fifi. She's graduating soon, so this video shows how she walks on the leash. So we'll do another video later where she does her basic commands. So Fifi is six months young, and she's a bulldog. And I want to emphasize that word bull in bulldog you know that when she came to me she was a very wild child okay uh, so she was counter surfing and she was jumping over baby gates and she was uh, peeing and pooing in the home so she was all over the place okay she was very impulsive and stubborn so what I want to say the good news is we made a tremendous amount of progress okay i mean look at her right i mean she's she's a different dog but she's a bulldog and she's still young so um this training is ongoing so you will be um training her for the rest of her life and reinforcing good behavior and discouraging bad behavior so when you see her in a calm, relaxed state, that's when you give her treats and affection and praise and you, you pet her, okay? Because you're reinforcing that behavior. But when she does something crazy, like she jumps over a gate, never laugh or never, oh, that was funny because she's going to play the clown again and again to make you laugh you're reinforcing that bad behavior okay so when she does something wrong and she will she's going to test you let's say she pees in the house so what you want to do is say no like a big bark because they understand barks right so you're like no right and then she you know you you bring her to the spot you show her what she did she knows what she did um then she's gonna go in a timeout in her crate there's nothing in the crate um that she can play with she doesn't get no affection no toys depending on what she did you can leave her in there for 10 or 20 minutes that's about average then when she comes out you're just nice as it loving as before because it's the behavior that we're discouraging we don't ever want her to feel like she's not loved but during that crate time that time out yes she's going to feel the separation from her family she's going to feel like oh i did something wrong and it gives her time to reflect and also, it gives her time to calm down. So if she's running amok and, and chewing on stuff um, and jumping baby gates, then she needs to calm down. So 10, 20 minutes is good to calm down. And then we start over, okay? So that's the procedure. By the way, she is... Uh, when, when you see her chewing on a stick outside or, God forbid, anything inside the home, uh, you scold her, take it from her, show it to her, say, no, right? Then when she goes into her timeout, give her, that's the only exception where you would give her something uh, during the timeout. You give her uh, a, one of those pencil-thin rawhide treats. It's pencil thin because we don't want to ever uh, her to choke on it. So she won't choke and it will be easier to pass uh, through the digestion. And I've given it to her and she's good with it. She, If you give her one a day, I don't give her one a day. I give her one when I see her chewing on stuff she shouldn't. Because the logic there is... You know, the other day I saw her chewing on a rock, right? So that's very bad for the teeth. It's worse for the belly. So the logic is, yeah, rawhides require supervision and they're not 100% safe, but a rock is 100% unsafe. So we want to 
um, give her healthy chew uh, options. Another technique I do, I give her a super big rawhide, too big for her to swallow. And as soon as she breaks off small pieces, I remove the pieces so she can't swallow them. So this is how we satisfy the chewing urge. Okay, so um, this is a good bulldog uh, when it comes to diet. Okay, but bulldogs are famous for having, you know, sensitive stomachs. So, um, gratefully, I've been watching her poop since she got here. It's healthy poo, okay? So that's really good. You know, um, you know other bulldogs got to be very sensitive with their uh, food and their treats and stuff. So I've been training her with... Uh, hot dog slices mostly every time I feed her or give her a treat I ask her to sit or stay or 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 you know do a command because I want to uh, enforce I want to reinforce her response to my uh, commands so if I don't do that often she'll get sloppy okay so um she passed every part of her training. She's housebroken. She walks on the leash. Look at this. We've been walking six and a half minutes. And she walks like a pro. Okay. So um, she knows all her basic commands. You'll see that video later today. And um, she's very social. You see in the videos her best friend is Annie. Annie goes home today. So... Um, they were like best buddies. They slept together. They um, they love each other. So uh, she passed every part of her training. But again, she's a bulldog, and bull means stubborn. Okay, so um, you have to be consistent in your response. You have to because let's say you only discourage her barking say once every two times well she's gonna think in her head well sometimes it's okay to bark no it's not so you want to discourage that all the time because you don't want barking in the middle of the night or when you're on the phone it barking leads to other aggressive behavior and again, this is a bulldog. So if we, if we're either going to have a super friendly and social bulldog, or we're going to have one that is uh, confrontational to other dogs. So she's a perfect dog. She's a sweet dog. She's going to bring a lot of love to your family. And if any um, issues arrive behavior-wise, just text me and we'll solve them together. And when you go on vacation... Bring her back to me for, uh, what do you see, a squirrel over there? Okay, girl. Good girl. See, she listens. Okay, so um, when you go on vacation, bring her back for dog sitting. That's a great time for me to uh, fine-tune any behavior issues that may arise. And just, it's going to be great to see her again. And she'll get socialized with other friendly dogs.